Welcome everyone. This morning let's take a little walk in the garden and we'll start with the irises blooming here in the driveway. Don't mind the construction machinery across the street. These are the new houses that are being built. Here is a beautiful, very intense, orangey yellow iris variety with orange centers blooming very profusely. Here we have some plant that I don't know the name of and I have a few of these. They have very beautiful and fragrant blooms that are pale yellow with darker yellow top petal. Here is one of my favorite iris varieties that are very light pale lavender and dark frilled purple edges and there is more irises here blooming away now here is a pure white iris also very pretty and it looks very nice next to the blue evergreen tree and we have the first roses of the season right here they will be blooming very nicely looks like it and here they are And here we have a rhododendron finishing the blooming cycle. So the bloom started fading and I wanted to record it for you before they're gone. Very prolific bloomer. And next to it is another bush of that plant that I don't know the name of. Here on this section, there are some bushes here, shrubs with some variegated foliage. And in front of it, I love this moss variety and it is already starting to bloom. And then another rhododendron blooming very nicely. And the birds are chirping. It's early morning on May the 26th. Here I planted some tomatoes and they're doing fine. They're still very little and I don't know if they're gonna make it because I planted them kind of late. I grew these from the seeds that I purchased and the drizzling rain is starting. So let's see how much more I can film. Here I have a plant that is growing next to the strawberries and this patch, strawberry patch is work in progress. 
it has beautiful foliage and it was blooming earlier and now it has some remnants of the blooms here on top and here is some purple blooming plant again I don't know the name I need to learn names of my plants the fig trees are finally coming back um, we had a little frost here in Oregon after the temperatures started warming up so the previous leaves kind of died out and I was afraid if the trees will make it but look at them now they are bouncing back nicely and here is another tree that looks really good and I was concerned of this one too I still have to find out the name of this one but the younger leaves look really nice Here is some ground covering plant and the white stuff, the fuzzy stuff is the insect. It looks like soap bubbles and I looked it up. Um, I will post the name of that insect here, but it looks like it's not very harmful. So I'm letting it be. And I might need to do some treatment if it grows out of control. But look at these irises. They have pale salmon color, like peachy blush color with some orange centers. Really beautiful. And here I have a white blooming rhododendron. And here is another iris variety, like a purplish burgundy color, maroon color, with some pale lavender petals and yellow centers next to it is a white iris and then we have a yellow dark yellow one with some orange and here we have the pale lavender with purple and white and these are also my favorite ones lighter lavender blue color with light centers This one is really gorgeous. They look like velvet. Dark maroon petals with lighter purple edges and central light purple petals.
this section is still work in progress. I'll probably plant some tomatoes here and keep some of the ground covering plants. And this is the central part. Also planted some tomatoes here next to the water fountain. And then here we have some plants that are about to bloom next to some shrubs with the lemony yellow color. And here I have a very special tomato variety called Black Prince. And we have the first blooms. And I started reading up on tomatoes. Experts say that first blooms should be removed to let the plant grow a little more so that in bears fruit better later in the season but I kind of want to keep them because they're so cute black prince and a light drizzle is starting again the moss looks really nice this time of the year. It blooms with tiny little white blooms. And goes all the way along this pathway. And when you walk on it, it feels like you're walking as if you're walking on a pillow. Here is another ground covering plant. Now here I have a huge plant growing under this maple tree. That looks very nice lemony green foliage. It's the tallest tree in my garden. Uh, and this plant here, I don't know what it is. It reminds me of horseradish plant for some reason. Let me know if that actually is what it is. Or maybe this is something else. I will have to see because I know if it's horseradish, it's gonna grow everywhere. And I need to find a way to contain it. Earlier this spring, I planted a couple of lilacs and this is one of them. I ordered them on Etsy. It looks like it's doing nicely. This one should bloom with white and light pink, blush pink blooms, double blooms. I hope it blooms one day. Hopefully in a couple of years. And more maple trees here. This one is probably a Japanese maple with red leaves that is in front of this tall maple tree with green leaves. And then this one here with very light green foliage. And then this plant here is growing really nicely and blooming all over. 
right now and here is a maple tree with very very dark purple leaves and finally I love this combination of lemony green on the background in the maple leaves and this dark purple reddish purple with some dark green I think this one is the most beautiful a miniature maple tree that I have and some blue very intense blue little flowers plant that looks like heart